Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, May the 7th, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up, and it's NFP day. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And just a reminder as the week is closing, risk management. Never lose more than you're willing to lose on any one particular trade. Manage your risk and keep your stop loss and position size adjusted accordingly. Brain management, no fear, no regret, then you have no pain because pain doesn't come from the market. It comes from your reaction to the market. Finally, on the money management side, you know, like today, take that profit before the market takes it back. There's many ways to do that. You can take half off the table, move your stop. You can move your stop to break even plus one, let it ride. And just remember, when you win, it's because you got lucky. You don't control the outcome. So for the week, all the gaps filled. As you can see, we're right at the previous week's high at the moment, 39.75. On the daily, you can see we broke out here of the range for the week, the opening range. We actually broke out yesterday, closed below, tested it again, and you can see what happened. Uh, just a heads up, you can see right here the um, previous high, that higher high was uh, 140.084. So look to see if price starts to break above, uh, say, the 140.20 area next week. Maybe even call it 20, call it 140.25 to see if it's going to continue the rage. But um, according to the uh, seasonality, price peaks in very early May and bearish till mid-May. So... That being said, this is the first week of the month. Maybe that's the peak. Maybe it'll drop back. But let's just trade what we see in the moment. For the year, we're up 331 pips for the month, 171. Ditto for the week. Today, up 87 pips over the open. That uh, daily bar three... Days ago was an inside bar. You see, we broke broke through that today, the previous day, and the day before that. So that high was tested one, two, three times. So inside bar traders probably had a very nice week. Range, NFP day. I was almost feeling like a... The old NFP day, the way it started out, but only 117 pips range for the day, which on an NFP day, I would call that anemic, considering the pound usually ranges about 100 pips. But things have changed. This is the year 2021. It's not in the, the early 2000s or late 2000s when things were really moving. Uh, the H1 candle, you can see, just reverse nicely, 25 pips off the high of the day, which was that 140 mark. You can see red rats feasted. Green rats didn't really get a chance to feast. Be, to feed. Be, well, maybe, no, I don't even think the range was large enough at the time. Pivot trading plan and you can see right here price near r1 bias is short um that paid off but this is nfp day so of course you have to uh kind of put these rules over to the side Oh, uh, just one thing. In the pivot trading plan, if you actually look in the code, 
there's a link to uh, the explanation of of all these different messages and I just basically read it coded it and so if you go inside the code you can use any editor and then you can go to that website if you're interested missed pivots we took out today's pivot so we only have one missed pivot from April of left and two from February and you can see where they lie the wick zone big explosion out of the wick zone the range very interesting ranges here once again today 117 68 percentile let me switch this over to the week we chart you can see for the week 200 pips, only 31 percentile. So once again, uh, tight, tight ranges, not much happening range-wise. You can see four weeks ago, we actually had 248, 61 percentile. On the weekly range, um, the high minus the previous high paid 24 pips. <laughs> previous low minus low, only two. This was definitely a bullish week. Uh, the buy zone traders on the week, high minus close. Actually, no, this is the rat zone traders. Uh, high minus close, 29 pips, so they were paid off. And close minus low for the green rats off the weekly uh, rat zone there, 171 pips to the good right now. So what you want to do, uh, traders, is when you look at the dailies, and you see it put in a, uh, let's see, got one, two, three, four, five. So you see right here when it opened on Monday, um, it actually put in that low rat zone. So you just you can kind of mark that on your chart. That's the low rat zone for the week so far. And this would have been the upper rat zone. As you can see, um, if you jumped out of that first uh, 20 pips, um, took that trade, actually it would have been a buy zone trade and just wrote it. Um, there was a lot of pips to be had but of course that's harry hindsight but in the future you just mark those buy zones and then each day um either one the other both or neither are going to move either the uh, upper one's going to move the lower one's going to move they'll both move or neither will move like on this day here neither moved on this day uh, neither rat zones moved but you probably could have traded south there here the upper rat zone move lower stayed the same and here of course the upper rat zone moved again so you can do that on a running uh you know the last five days basis kind of a uh, rolling rat zone and you can just see where it is or you can just play the uh the weekly rat zone if you're inclined if you like the rat zone reversal trade in fact somebody was asking in a question about the rat zone i think i may have answered it out in youtube a nice pullback off that 1400 uh, i know walmart cashed in we were trading today he put he, he used my term a lottery ticket he had a pending order at 75 with the tp at double o and he popped out he said it oh one so he made a nice cashed in on a nice little lotto ticket there Trading the uh, Walmart method this hour uh, would have paid off. Uh, price is 76. Short was at the 90. You know, once again, just a simple trade. Trading what you see in front of the charts. Uh, somebody asked um, what time frame. You can use the one hour. You can use the 30. You can use the 15. You can use the 5. You can use the 1. And if you want, you could even use the daily um right here but or the h4 but usually you want to trade h1 or below because we're using the statistics from the h1 candle so but any of the time frames for triggering walmart usually will, you know he'll look at the five 
see what Price is doing on the five, and then he'll go to the one to make a final decision. I was talking to him about that this morning. But, you know, just remember, no squiggly lines were harmed in the making of these videos. Uh, you guys know uh, I like to tease the uh, squiggly guys from time to time just because. But you can see here on M5, let's see, where was the first candle? I need to put on my price meter. Okay, so here was the, this was the open here, you see. You had a short, I think you could pick up about five pips there to the downside, then price pops back up here, and then you could have traded short, because if you look at M1, let's see what that looks like. Well, while I'm waiting on others, there it goes. Computer had to update. So right here, you can see it crossed below. Take your pips, cross above, looking for a second short. You would have taken that short, and it never would have threatened your stop, which maybe you could have put the stop just above the two ball there. Otherwise, you could, you could have ridden it all the way down to the three ball and taken your money off the table good 25 or good what 15 16 pip trade to the south there so and that's not a hairy hindsight because we know what these lines are at the beginning of every hour um, and we just trade accordingly so for those of you who are struggling with the wall mall method um, I think the best thing to do is first um, Forget about everything else. <laughs> you know, start with a clean slate, a clean mind, empty mind. Um, then watch the uh, Walmart uh, playlist on the channel. I think Walmart and I, we, we went through it for an entire month. So you can watch those 20 videos or so. And then you should, by the end of that, get a, get a really good understanding, even though it's just really simple. Um, you can use the H1 candle color, you know, use the sweet spots gold indicator that I modified right here. And you say, set this show buy sell to true, and then it will paint the Walmart lines each hour. And that's it. Now, in fact, somebody asked me if I could do a dots indicator, I think, um, to show the previous Walmart lines. Let me see if I can find that. I'll pause the video. Well, I thought I had it. Maybe it's on a different computer, but I was just gonna put those dots up there for you. So, but that pretty much wraps up the week, traders. I hope you had a really profitable week and a great NFP day. Um, hope you have a fun and safe weekend. And for the folks uh, that are just coming here, please hit the subscribe button. And if everybody would like the video, then maybe more people will get to see the video. I don't think YouTube is uh, promoting my videos at the moment. So it seems like they're promoting the squiggly line guys. <laughs> maybe uh, YouTube doesn't like horizontal line guys. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. So this is the rumpled one reminding you it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. Over and out.